What's good YouTube? In this video, I wanted to show you how you can build a entire defensive concept around the cover six coverage and how the cover six is one of the best defenses for defending um, any trip set, specifically the bunch concepts. Um, and the reason why it's so good at defending the bunch concepts is because of the fact that you're gonna notice in this video that it has a great matching principles on skinny post routes over the top. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. All right, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're gonna be taking a look today at the um, at the cover six coverage, primarily in how it works against a bunch. And I'm gonna go over two primary key things that you need to know about this coverage. This is a coverage that can be found in the a lot of defenses. Um, it's really the coverage that I think most of the unique, what I call unique defenses are, like nickel, triple, three, three, five odd, two, four, five odd, uh, some of the dime rush stuff, uh, some of the dollar stuff. This has, this is the main match coverage. Cover six is a match coverage, if you didn't know that. And uh, we're gonna go over why I think it's probably one of the better match coverages in the game. We're gonna go over a couple things you need to know about it as well. Some of the things that you might need to be kind of aware of within how this coverage actually practically works. Um, in the game. So let's take a look at the cover six. Okay guys, so now that we're on the field here, um, I wanna show you something really, really cool. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna run bunch trail, but we're gonna do something. Um, we're just gonna simply put the running back on a wheel route. And what you're gonna notice is, and I'm gonna go ahead and just spy the D-line. What you should notice here is that the, um, because we put the running back on the wheel, now you're gonna see that this post is gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Now. If you, what you'll see here is that this cover six deep half will match him up and, and actually there the, the vertical hook matched him which is interesting never seen that before but um, let me show you that one more time let's see let's do um, let's do let's go ahead and press our coverage maybe that was why and we'll pass commit and then let's get this guy across the formation quicker but typically this deep half will match over the top Wow, I guess the vertical is just gonna match it and that's gonna be what it is. It's actually not bad though. But you see it, it, it covers it. Now, if I shade my coverage down, that might help a little bit. So I'm just gonna shade my coverage down here. And again, you should see that this isolates the deep half. Now the deep half takes him in man coverage all the way up the seam and plays it really, really well, as you can see right there. Now, this is not going to happen in a traditional cover two. So if I go to Tampa two and I just shade my coverage down, what you're gonna notice is this deep half this is one of the best cover two beaters in the game. As you can see right here, the deep half gets burned and I can hit a one place score. So just based on that alone, it's a great reason to run this coverage because you now have the ability to run a cover two defense without getting bombed over the top, especially on the skinny post side. So what you can easily do with this is you can adapt this coverage, right? So like if you wanted to, um, you could easily uh, just put, just create a cover two. Just create a cover two, something simple like this. Now you know you're not gonna get bombed. So you you know you're not gonna get bombed over the top. So now you can leave this three red hook. And now you can just simply, if you wanna user this, that's fine. But you'll see this is one of the best cover two defenses in the game because you still have the principle, you still have the core principle uh, from that deep path. See how it still matches that? Even though the other deep path gets glitched to the right side, that still matches that concept. So you can easily take a cover six coverage and turn actually turn it into a cover two coverage against trips. I think it's one of the best little things that you can do um, just because of how this coverage works. So again, we're just gonna shade our, uh, or we're gonna create a cover two real quick and then just simply shade our coverage down and then put the cloud flat back there on the right side. Now we don't have to have anything in the middle of the field, which I think is really cool. You get this three rec hook, which is one of the best zones in the game. Um, you can use her now who do you use her in this example great question um you could use her this defender here duggar or you could use her the vert hook i like both vert hooks on the left sides and here's why if i were to go to the play mesh spot you'll see that these vert hooks do a decent job at defending the wheel okay that does a decent job at defending the wheel but generally speaking you're probably going to want to use her that left side guy because the three wreck is so valuable so that's how you can kind of create a cover two, which I think is actually a really good coverage um, to create out of a cover six. 
because you don't find it's a cover too, but it matches really well. Um, it, it matches really, really well up the seam on the left side. You typically don't get a skinny post coming back across your face from the right, even if you do. Like let's say for example, they let's say we let's say we create the cover two, um, and then they run verticals. Okay, I want to show you this concept. So let's say they do this. You'll take a look here. You'll see that the right side wheel is the is the route that's open, but it's really not like super there. I mean, it is there, but it's not kind of thing. So that's another thing. Now, what you could also do with this, which I think is a, probably a better solution, um, is to simply go ahead and deep half that right of screen safety. Take that corner on the right side, put him in a curl flat. And then now what you can do is you can use her this guy, right? And you can still shade your coverage down. So the shade you get the shaded down vert hook on the right. I would I would shade my coverage down before I put that curl flat out there. But now what you'll see is the verticals play that everybody likes to spam is you, you've got that wheel route to the right. Now you've got this, and you see how good this is. I mean, this is a very good coverage defense um, out of the cover six. Now, one thing I wanted to quickly point out about trips is if you were to do this, like let's say that you shade your coverage down and let's say you put that curl flat there, okay? And let's say that they motion out. Let's say that they motion this guy to the outside and they put him on a smoke and then they streak Gronkowski, something like this. You'll see here that this is a little bit of a glitch within, it's not really a glitch, it's just your Kind of changing the match principles and it's causing a major issue in trips sets the especially when again not compression trips but when they motion out of bunch and turn it into a trips a traditional trips type set what happens is the defense converts to a different type of coverage which is actually a cool thing uh within this within this coverage defense the problem is and i'll show you one one more time here that, that this you'll see that this glitch is completely um the problem is that the R1 should be being matched by the quarter flat, but because we've taken the quarter flat off of the field, as you can see, it's wide open. So um, how do we fix this? Well, actually fairly simple. All you need to do is um, simply leave that zone. So if I motion him out and I do this, what you'll see now is that slot corner should match that corner all the way to the corner and take that away. That is known as the trips special check, which basically means that if number two goes vertical, that the quarter flat defender has him in a trips type formation. So it's a key, key aspect of this defense that you can't really, um, you can't really change that, right? It's really important that you let that be what it's going to be. So um, a way that I like to kind of deal with the bunch set um, is, is real simple. We're just simply going to put the, the 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 safety on that right side on a deep half, and then backside here you just want to manually hard flat there. That's going to keep that quarter flat there. You're still going to be protected from the, a lot of the bombs in the bunch formation that can be uh, occurred. And then let's say that they run this play flood. Now flood to me is their best chance of beating you, and primarily because of who you're choosing. Um, who you're choosing to use her, right? We want to use her, this guy, ideally. Um, and what you'll see with this is if they run that flood play, a lot of times that out route will kill you, okay? Now, how do you stop the out route, okay? Well, you stop the out route by putting the curl flat defender out there. So what do you do in this situation? Because if they motion, then you this, and then this, and that. Very simple. Here's how I like to kind of defend a bunch. If they're in alignment like this, there's no danger at all to putting that guy into a curl flat. So I'm just gonna put him in a curl flat, okay? Now, if they met, if they move, and this is a key, I think an absolutely critical, um, critical adjustment. Let's say they motion this guy out. All you're gonna do is simply man him up. That's it. And we're gonna take our chance with the tight end flat. I mean, you could put that D in on a flat if you wanted to, just to kind of hedge your bet a little bit, or you could convert this into a cover two if you wanted to. Um, you could you could easily do that. You could put a cloud out there um, to that to that safety, right? You could do something like that. But what you'll see now 
is you know if they run that same route combination they're they're not you're not going to get killed right you're not going to get killed you might get beat but you see there i mean it's a real simple adjustment and i'll show that one more time and, and you could do this relatively quickly right because you're you're sitting here you've already done these steps right you've already done these steps right here and you're ready for them to snap the ball and they go and motion out because they're already set up so now they motion out but they have to let him set for the, the glitch to work so just put that guy in a heart a cloud that's literally it if you put him in a cloud now they might be able to kill you but they're not gonna I mean it's it, 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 it's still gonna get you you could easily just put him in a cloud what I like to do though most honestly is and I'll show that one more time whoops let me so you set up your coverage like this, your user in here. And the reason I like that curl flat so much is because it helps with the running back in route and it helps with the, run, the the tight end route. So I think that's really critical, or a flood. But anyway, they motion him out, just man him up. Just man him up. And make him check it down to the flat. He's gonna be manned up over there. And that makes that throw really hard, as you can see. So that's a real simple solution to a problem that a lot of people face out of match because most bunch players if they're gonna run flood they're gonna run it from this alignment right here and what you'll see is that curl flat does such a good job at helping the coverage such a good job at helping the coverage and then the deep half that you have from your safety you're gonna get a reroute on that guy because he's in a curl flat so let's say they run the play uh, let's say they run verticals and they streak this this guy okay that's a that's a coverage beater what you'll see is this deep half gets rerouted and now all of a sudden that bomb is really just not there it's very put blank so this is a great little defense it's very adaptable if you learn the principles again really really important um, another thing that you could do if you wanted to while we're talking about this another real simple thing that you could do and, and, and it's like I said, it's really, really easy. So all you're doing is you're here and and you've got your play set up and it looks somewhat like this, right? And I'll show you the play art. They run a motion out concept where they're gonna change your rules. All you have to do, I'm gonna audible right back into, um, I'm gonna audible right back into cover six, which again, I normally have that in my audibles. So it's gonna dumb it out here, but you audible right back into this and now it plays like it exactly perfectly perfect defense as you can see so that's how you kind of protect your cover six a little bit against the bunch formations i want to thank you for watching this video um, if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide or my full match defensive guide both of those will be available in my patreon membership which you can access by clicking the link in the description below it's only ten dollars a month and it's going to unlock the entire membership for you get you access to all 20 of my offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we're going to get you access to all of our updates to those guides that we've released over the course of the man 22 season and and you'll also be able to get any future ebooks or any future updates as long as your membership is active for only ten dollars a month i think it's a great way for you to become a better madden player so if you're looking to get better at the game I would encourage you to check out the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, head on down to the description and check out the Patreon membership.